Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have a surprise video for you. So obviously today is Wednesday. I also just realized I'm not wearing any jewelry. <laughs> so for my watch. Oh, um, today is Wednesday. So it's a surprise video because we have a pattern release today. Yay! It's a good one. It's a nice fall and winter staple. Uh, staple. I actually, though, this could definitely be like, if you're going into spring and summer, a fantastic layer. Just a fantastic layering piece, period, I guess, no matter if you're going into cooler or warmer weather. <laughs> but this is the newest pattern from Itch to Stitch, and it is the Foz. Is it top or sweater? I can't remember. I will pop some line drawings up here. It is just a basic button up or snap up um, kind of a cardigan slash top. Um, it's made for knit fabrics and it comes with a short sleeve version or a long sleeve version. If you can hear barking in the background right now, that is my dog. She is in a war with a chipmunk in our yard right now. <laughs> I finally had to pull her into the house and now she's just standing at the back door barking. So I apologize for that if you can hear it in the background, those puppies. Okay, the Foz. Um, this is in her newer size range from a double zero up to size 40. I will put the bust and the hip range here for the pattern. It comes with a standard front and a full front. I made, per usual for itch to stitch, I made the size eight with the full bust front. I love that she's now doing the full bust fronts for the knit patterns as well. She's done the cup sizes for the wovens for a really long time. Maybe just, maybe even since she started the company. Um, but, oh, I don't know, in the past like year or so, she has started doing either cup sizes or like a full bust front or standard versus standard front for the knit patterns. I just make it, makes it so much of a difference. Especially because this one has a placket in the front, whether that be um, buttons or snaps. If you have a larger bust, that can very easily pull, and this doesn't. Okay, let's talk about my version. Um, guys, this is a pretty darn easy pattern to make, including, I mean, even with the placket. Um, I used a, I think it's a rayon polyester blend, but it is a um, waffle knit that I had in my stash, and I actually bought this from Style Maker Fabrics. Ugh last year, maybe the year before. Um, I had purchased it actually for a Breckenridge Henley and just never got around to sewing it um, in this. And then I was going through my stash looking for something to use for this um, pattern test and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. <laughs> and it is perfect in this wonderful, like camel -y taupe color. I love this so much. All right, so pattern alterations that I did. I shortened the body by an inch, which is a common, um, uh, alteration for me to make because I'm only 5'2", so I shortened the body by an inch and I shortened the sleeves by an inch, all because of my 5'2 frame. There's just a standard hem on the sleeve. Um, obviously, I made the long sleeve version. I used my cover stitch to do that. And then um, just a standard, there's like not ribbing or anything, just a standard hem on the bottom as well. She um, has directions for how to do um, Inter, or, um, buttons versus snaps. I, w I interfaced mine just as if I were doing buttons. And I think maybe that's the way. Because I was kind of thinking I was going to do buttons, but didn't really have any buttons I liked in my stash. But I did like the way that these antique brass snaps looked on, <clears throat> excuse me, snaps looked on the front. So I decided to do those. And I'm really glad that I did. I had six, which is just enough for the pattern. And I really love the way that it turned out. So it kind of has a v-neck, um, but not too plunging. And then, yeah, you could wear this uh, just as easily open over something um, as a cardigan as you could wear it closed. Um, and obviously, there's a been a trend, I don't know, for the, maybe the past couple of um, winters of having... Um, you know, like your standard crew neck cardigan, you know, that would always go with like sweater sets, for instance. And um, people would be wearing those buttoned all the way up as a top instead of as a cardigan, like tucking them into jeans and stuff. And you could definitely do this with this one. And I like this better because this has a more open neckline, which is more flattering on me. So even better. Um, yeah, this, I mean, this went together so quickly. Um, the instructions, as always, are just on point um, for all of her patterns, and I'm really excited to wear this both as a top, like maybe even under a few things, as well as a layer over a few things. Um, I think it's going to be great over dresses and that sort of thing, as well as just as a top to wear with, um, you know, my jeans, my trousers that I'm getting ready to make. I think it's going to go great with a lot of the plans that I have for my trousers and skirts, because it's just a great, this is a good, like, mid-tone neutral for me. Um, and this color is on um, my color card for my colors. 
Um, yeah, not too much else to say about this. Um, she's got recommendations for fabric are um, things with a, a little, you can use a little bit of drape, like um, a sweater net or you know something with some rayon in it, a viscose jersey or rayon jersey, um, a cotton spandex jersey would be fantastic as well if you want something just a little more sturdy, a little more bodied. Uh, with, I mean, you do need stretch, um, so you need to make sure you have that spandex content or that um, stretch and, and recover um, properties to your fabric. Uh, I think you could also even go with like a lighter weight ponte knit and be, it would be really great. So um, yeah, there's a lot of different knits that you could use this for. Um, what else to say? I sewed the whole thing up with my serger and then I top stitched, and maybe you can see this is kind of lofty knit, but I top stitched um, right here all along the neckline just to, I like the way that that flattens out um, a the seam like towards the body of the garment. Um, and I also like the way that it just kind of finishes things off. I think that looks really nice. And I meant to put a tag in the back of this and I didn't. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> just now realizing that. So there you have it guys, What fantastic staple. This is on sale um, for the next week. Uh, obviously it just went up today, so definitely go have a look. I have a link to the pattern down below. It is an affiliate link, which means I do get a small commission if you purchase the pattern from that link. So I like to be upfront about that. But I do have a link for the pattern down below and uh, definitely go over to the website, if nothing else, and go look at all the, she always has a link with all the testers photos. Cause there's a whole bunch of variation of what people did. Um, some people did the shorter sleeve, which I think gives more of a, um, it looks more shirt to me a little bit, you know, the shorter sleeve. Perfect as things start to warm up, I think. Um, but, you know, some people did solids, some people did prints. There's a whole bunch of different fabrics that people used. Um, so, yeah, it's just a really great place to go and get a little inspiration and see um, if that's something that you might be interested in making as well. But, again, very easy, great for a lot of knits. And it fits really great. It's not like skin tight. Like I've got some room, so I don't feel like my lumps and bumps are showing. So that's always good. <laughs> anyway, now I just need to make bottoms to go with them, to go with it. Um, that is next on the agenda. So there you have it guys. Um, nice short and sweet video. I just wanted to talk about the new itch to stitch pattern and show you my version. Um, I will be back on Friday. It is, uh, the second stop on the style maker tour, um, or the style maker fabrics fall style tour, um, tour <laughs> and I am stop number two. So Friday will be my stop and you get to see the outfit that I've made with the newest style maker fabrics fall fabrics that are being released. All right, guys, that's all I have. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.